Hi, welcome to this example on working with functions, the range, the domain and inverse of functions. Now here in this example we've got if f of x equals x plus 1 all squared where x is any real number but less than or equal to minus 2. In part 1 we've got to find the range of f of x and in part 2 we've got to find the inverse function f to the minus 1 of x and state the domain. Now to find the range of any function what I'd always suggest you do is sketch the graph. So if we draw the axis and to sketch the graph of x plus 1 all squared what I like to do first of all is consider the graph of x squared which looks like this. And What we're doing with the graph of x squared is to translate it one unit to the left. So all I've got to do is just slide that one unit to the left and let's say it goes to there. So that point here has an x-coordinate of negative 1. What I did essentially then was consider the graph of f of x equaling x squared which was back at the origin and then I replaced the x with x plus 1 so that then gave me x plus 1 which was x plus 1 all squared. So when you do this it slides a graph to the left one unit. Now this graph would cross the y-axis when x was naught and when x is naught you'd have naught add 1 which is 1 squared is still 1. So that point there is 1. Now the point is that this is the graph of f of x plus 1 or x plus 1 all squared and it's the graph for the domain of real numbers but we have got a restricted domain here x has got to be less than or equal to minus 2. So in other words I look down here to where x is minus 2, let's just mark that on, and when x is minus 2, if I put it into here, I have minus 2 add 1, which is minus 1, and then square it, and I get 1. So in actual fact, the graph for x equals minus 2 hits this point here at 1, all right, y equaling 1, if you like. So Therefore, if I only want the graph for x less than or equal to minus 2, then I've essentially got to clean out all this part of the graph from here onwards. So what we'll do is we'll remove that part of the graph. OK, around there. Just remove it. And that is the graph of f of x equaling x plus 1 all squared. Now, when it says find the range of f of x, the range of f of x will be all the values from this lowest point here all the way upwards. Okay, And this graph, because it carries on up to infinity, we can say that the range for part 1, the range of f of x, is going to be such that f of x takes on all the values greater than this value. That's all the y values. Now we know that at this point, this is the point f of minus 2. We substituted into here and we got 1 to come out. Okay, So this is greater than or equal to 1. So that's part 1. Now for part 2, find the inverse function. Now to do the inverse function, what we've got to do is in place of f of x is just to say let x equal and wherever we see x is here we've got to replace them with y so we've got y plus 1 all squared so y plus 1 all squared and what we've got to do is now make y the subject so if I square root both sides I would have plus or minus the square root of x equals y plus 1 and then if I subtract 1 from both sides I end up with y equaling minus 1 plus or minus the square root of x. Now the question is, what is f to the minus 1 going to be? 
is it going to be minus 1 plus root x or is it going to be minus 1 minus root x? Well the best way of answering that question is to realize that the inverse of any function is from a graphical point of view is always a reflection in the line y equals x. So if I was to draw the line y equals x in here, alright, we'll just draw that like so. There we go, we'll label it y equals x. If I was to take this graph, now remember uh, it might actually be easier to put the original x plus 1 all square graph back in. Let's actually do that. So we'll put that back in for a moment. Okay, there it is. Now if we were to reflect this graph in y equals x, what would it look like? Would it look something like this? And let's look at some of the key points as well. I mean this point here was at minus 1 in that direction so it's going to be down here at minus 1. This point over here at 1 gets mirrored across to here and that would be now at 1. And this key point here which remember had coordinates minus 2, 1 that is now mirrored across over here to a point here where if we extend this y-axis just down a little bit this would be at minus 2 and this would be directly underneath the 1. Now if I remove the original curve, let's just remove it, there it is, then we've got this part of the curve. Now that part of the curve corresponds to this part here in the reflection. So what we don't want is essentially this part of the graph. So we can rub that out, okay? And we'll rub that part out. So that part is the inverse function. This is the graph of y equals f to the minus 1 of x. And you can clearly see that if I was to put, for instance, x equals 1 into this equation here, if I put x equals 1 in, we've got the square root of 1, which is plus or minus 1. So if I took minus 1 plus 1, that would come to 0. Well, clearly this point when x is 1 is not at 0. That, you might remember, is when the graph came round like this. But if I put, take the minus option here, minus 1 minus 1, you'll find that we get minus 2, which corresponds to this point here. So you can clearly see that it's going to be minus 1 minus the square root of x. And as for the domain, the domain would be all the values of x that this can take on. That would be all the values from 1 onwards. So let's just write that in, that the domain of the inverse function is basically all the x values greater than or equal to 1. Now, it's worth pointing out that the domain of any function is the same as the range of the inverse function and vice versa. The range of the function is the same as the domain of the inverse function and you can actually see that here. We had to work out the range of f of x which was values greater than or equal to 1 and that corresponds to a domain of the inverse function x greater than or equal to 1. Okay, well that brings us to the end of this example and I uh, hope you've been able to follow that.